Back to the Necrothon. There it is. Oh boy. So, offline, I uh, I finally managed to win a run in hardcore, hardcore mode. I finally got it, which means now, in the character select, I have, um, I have Arya available. And Arya is the uh, dagger only, dies in a single hit, and you cannot miss a beat. Which is pretty ridiculous. So, uh, to start off with right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, a normal hardcore mode run. I'm gonna warm up a little bit, and uh, then after that, I'm gonna try to do the daily challenge. See how well we fare in that. Just need to get myself reacclimated to this nonsense. Oh goodness, yeah, that was a <laughs> terrific start. I find myself getting uh, super, super uh, itchy when I play this game, like on my on my keyboard fingers, which is terrible. Like the worst thing that could happen. Oh yeah, I bet is rage inducing. Yeah, for sure. I haven't tried it yet. I've been trying to play the game as though I'm in Arya mode, which obviously, with the way I'm playing right now, wouldn't go very well for me. So hopefully when I uh, actually start doing it, I'm not too terrible at it. You even Ollie Ollie. Not too much. Let's see if I can, uh... Oh, I was hoping I could kill that enemy in front of that pillar there. Pretty sure if I kill the mini-boss in front of that thing, that actually allows it to work. The fireworks pretty crazy right now? Oh, man. Hopefully you mean in your area. Hopefully they're not coming through too well. Yeah, B-Rex actually managed to uh, get the first Aria mode complete victory. Of course, Aria mode also means uh, that if you happen to die, or happen to get caught by a monkey, rather, that you'll die from that as well, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay. We're good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go through, actually. I haven't found the shop on this floor, but I don't think I really need to. That is a secret area, however. With nothing inside! Perfect. That's better. Titanium Spear! Ah, that's good. That's a very good upgrade to start with. That makes me happy. Good stuff. You love fireworks. Fireworks are pretty cool, man. When they're not interrupting my stream. <laughs> so selfish of me. You gonna try the Destiny Beta? It's open to everybody now, isn't it? I should probably try it out. I should indeed check that out. I'm probably gonna have to get Xbox Live Gold again, sadly. Despite my uh, better interests. Or my better judgment, I should say. Might disappear from the chat, no worries, dude. Understandable. Nice. Titanium Spear is gonna be fantastic, dude. I really like having a Titanium Spear. Titanium Longsword, of course, would be better. Titanium anything that puts you at a distance between you and the enemies, that is, uh... To my advantage, I believe. Ooh, that was... That was a bad decision. This is why we warm up, man. We gotta get used to stuff again. I think I'll take the Ring of Gold, and I'll take the, uh, the Hargreaves as well. That's, of course, a reference to, uh... Mr. Cody Hargreaves' excessive profanity. Twitch.tv slash excessive profanity, by the way. Good times. Alright. Off we go. Making pretty good progress here, actually. Oh, Red Bat of Doom. I gotta kill this thing. There we go. Alright. We got this. Oh, it's a mimic shit. I didn't even notice. Pickaxe, though. That's a good upgrade. There he goes. Oh my goodness. Red bats are the worst. I should have just taken damage twice there, man. That was really bad movement. There we go. Holy shit. That was crazy. Yeah, Destiny Beta apparently is open to everybody now, which is pretty awesome. Three bombs, I'll take it. Sounds like a red dragon's coming up, though. So I should try to figure out how I'm going to move around this area. Where is he coming from? That's the question. I really hope... Oh, there he is. All right. That's okay. We can deal with this. 
Bats do indeed suck, yes. Alright, not a problem. Blue bats aren't so bad, the red bats are just a pain in the balls. There we go. Nice. It's going pretty well. Going pretty well so far. I haven't heard that much about Destiny. It does seem pretty interesting, though. It's like a Halo MMO of sorts, right? Or something like that. That may not be the best descriptor for it, but... Ah, I just took damage with a zombie. I'm a genius. Wow. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Apparently, <laughs> bomb is the only way out of here. Oh, wait. I have a pickaxe. I'm an idiot. That was dumb. Alright, chess boss time. Ah, damn. I was doing it well. Haven't gotten a perfect boss fight yet. I kind of hope I can at some point. Got the money at least. Damn, that perfect boss would be a big help. Okay. That's obviously not where we want to go just yet. Titanium Spear is a really good start. Time to play Deadly Chess! Very good. Alright, it's going pretty well. Let's go see what we've got in the shop. I'll take a helm, and uh, this is a pretty good option as well, actually, the circular telepathy. So, you know, just gonna waste some money. <laughs> realized how stupid that was. I like being able to see the enemies wherever we are, though. Oh, well. Yes, wizard's chess, exactly. Alright. Wish he hadn't gone that way, but that's fine. We're good. Freeze spell is very nice. Excellent. Going pretty well. You're awesome, Sean. Shrine of Glass. Probably not gonna take that. Oh, I could've killed that guy. That was dumb. Oh well. Ooh, boy. Okay. Nice. Good stuff. That was kinda silly. I'm just going to let him go, actually. There we are. Might as well get some more... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm just going to go. I distracted you and you got killed by a blue slime. Aw, oh, damn. Right, there he goes. Knock him into the wall. Perfect. And get over here. Kinda like that. Nice. God, I love having double damage. Oh, this isn't good. I had to lose the multiplier for that. Totally worth it. Okay. Yeah, I like that about the glass, too. It's pretty interesting, huh? But the downside is the same as the upside for it. That was interesting. Oh, apparently they get stopped in the swamp. I had no idea. I don't think he gets stuck on the swamp, though. Yeah, pretty sure he can just move through whatever he wants. No, thank you. Oh, damn it. I did not realize what was going to happen there. Alright. This is, uh... Pretty dangerous right now. More bombs. That's always good. What's in here? More bombs! Nice! Woo! Yeah, I actually do do that a bit, Sean. What made you sigh when you mentioned Pioneer Day? I am a non-Morvan living in Utah, yes indeed. 
But it wasn't like a sigh about the holiday, I just sigh because I don't really like hearing so many fireworks so frequently. Okay, well. I'm pretty dire straits right now. I did not even realize he was there. Shit! Oh, damn. Okay, you know... I feel okay. I feel like I could go for the daily now. I feel like I could do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for the daily challenge. Here we go, man. Jumping right into it. Nice. Alright, that's a good start. Shrine of Peace to begin with as well. Not bad. Can't be mad about that. Got a shop to start off with. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot about my freeze spell. Had a lot of bombs and a freeze spell. That was kind of a an unnecessary death. I gotta start taking advantage of those things earlier on. I always have the inclination that I should like save those items. Which usually doesn't end up being the case. By which I mean to say it usually ends up being better to God damn it. To uh use that stuff before you don't have the chance anymore. Luckily, we have that Shrine of Peace to begin with. Might use a bomb to get some cash here early on. None of those are really that worth it, though. I want to see somebody play this with Grindcore. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Alright, nothing in there. Looking at a uh, path to a dragon. Alright. Ah. Stupid freaking monkeys. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal. Yep, red bat of death. Ruining days one life at a time. Or ruining lives one day at a time even. You take your pick, you'll do it! Red bat is capable of all sorts of disappointments. The path to the dragon! We can crack open that thing. That looks like a good idea. Got quite a few goodies over here. Get some more cash. Very nice. That's actually uh, another secret area. I had a feeling it was red bats, but that's good. If we can make this work. I don't think it's going to. Yeah, screw them. <laughs> Don't have to kill all the red bats, we can leave them be. Why did I go in here? Why did I go in there? Why did I go in there? Why in the world did I go in there? Why did I do that? Why? What is wrong with me? Oh my god. Oh my god, I am so bad at the daily. Ah. Uh. I'm so stupid. Why? What's my line of thinking there? Oh well. 20 hours away from the next one. <laughs> Shit. Oh well. Alright, well. Let's try, uh. Let's try Arya. Might as well. Might as well give it a whirl. So we got our dagger. Half a heart. We can't miss a beat. Should be very interesting. Yeah, we got more dailies to come. I'm, I'm sure I'll have a... At least a mediocre performance to post. I don't even want to put these on the leaderboard, honestly. They're just so bad. Alright, obviously want to keep the pickaxe here. Aria mode is, uh, basically ultra hardcore difficulty. You can't miss a beat, and you, uh, only have a dagger and a half a heart. If you miss a beat, you die. If you, uh, get hit, you die. So, yeah, very difficult mode. 
essentially. What? What did I even do? What the hell just happened? That was silly. I have no idea why I died. That's interesting. Alright. Here we go again. Yeah, and if, you, if the uh, song runs out, you die. If you get caught by a monkey, you die. Because that makes you miss the beat. That, for example, would have killed me. I didn't think I missed a beat, though, was the thing. Like, I didn't press any other buttons. That's why I was so confused. Alright, nothing in there. Let's get this guy. Oh god, really? Black skeletons. There we go. Torch is very good. Torch is very good to pick up. Good, good, good. Yeah, if you sneeze, you die. If you look the other way, you die. If you say the wrong words, you die. If you die, you die in real life. I'm dead. Rip. Alright, we're done. Dude, bard mode is actually really fun. I played a little bit of bard mode when I unlocked it. It's insane. Alright, first boss. Let's see what I can do. Nice. Ripping pepperonis, bear. Free money as well. Okay. Made it through level one. Not bad. Whew. Say hi to Jay Smith for me. I will, man. Alright, sounds like the dragon's coming from below me. Let's see if that is indeed the case. It looks like it. Yep. Alright, this should be, uh... Oh, that was stupid. Tried to dig. I thought I had the pickaxe still from last run. Bright Torch is a great start, though. And there's a potion. Potion is a really good item to pick up. I should probably use the bomb for that. Mark, welcome back, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, should definitely get the potion here. Yeah, you'd die if you get hit by the red dragon for sure. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy. Nice. There's some free money here. Beautiful. Bard speeds in this game is I can't keep up with my button presses, so you end up throwing you bombs and spells all over. <laughs> Bard mode is crazy, man. I might have to play a little bit of that if I can't get Arya going tonight. Hello, Hoffington. How's it going, man? Twitch.tv slash Hoffington. Please go follow him if you are interested in the uh, Necrothon whatsoever. That dude is getting shit done. Legendary Necro Dancer Hoffington. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Chaos Chrissy, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, music in this game is fantastic. You know, I'm going to pick up the Ring of Gold, actually. See if that ends up being worthwhile. If you stare at the queen from the chess boss, you die. Yep. <laughs> if you stare at anything, you die, really. That's not even, like, facetious. Alright, that was a terrible way to use the potion. 
I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> if you're on Aria mode, you die. If you think about playing Aria mode, you die. Holy cow. Grey Wolf, first time seeing it. So it's a uh, rhythm-based roguelike. You control all your uh, actions with the keyboard or the dance pad if you happen to have one. Magic Torch, damn. Okay. Boom, boom. You have to, uh, in the mode I'm playing right now, you have to keep the beat or you die. But, uh, normally if you don't keep the beat, then you just lose your coin multiplier. And that's the, uh, that's the gist of it. Alright, let's focus on this guy. Ooh, gotta be careful. There we go. Uh, it's unfortunate that he actually, uh, fell through the trap door there. I have a feeling those are going to be red bats. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Red dragon time. I thought he wasn't there yet. Shit. That's good. Karate Gi is actually super good to pick up in Aria mode. Because it pretty much doesn't have any disadvantages when you're playing in this mode. Doubles your damage for free, essentially. That looks like another potion room. Yep. Nice. The gist is as hard as fuck. Yeah, pretty much. That works. Yeah, Gi is fantastic in Aria mode. How's B-Rex doing in his uh, speedruns? I know we got that uh, really good time, the, the five minutes something or other. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Probably shouldn't have done that. Gamer training, take it easy, buddy, no worries. You do what you gotta do. Okay. Gotta stop moving my fingers so weirdly. I just get these, like, serious... I don't want to call it OCD, but it's just, like, I, I feel like I, I have to touch the other sides of my fingers when I'm playing this game, and I can't control myself. I'm giving myself an extra handicap for no reason. Three bombs is good. <laughs> Shopkeeper's pretty creepy, huh? I love his singing. You got a 453! Damn nice! Alright. Nice and easy. We have a red bat here. Oh, I had it! Oh, I had it twice! There we go! Nice. Alright, I could go use some bombs on the shop, but I don't think I need to. At least not right now. Alright. This is free money here, I just don't want to do anything stupid. Ah, that was dumb. Speaking of dumb. Alright. Good. Good stuff. That was a potentially dangerous play, but I had a good sense of what was going on there. Hoping this is a better torch here. Nice. Gotta love having a torch. I don't know if uh, Rex got a better score and just didn't submit it, or what's going on there. Like, I would trust Rex, dude. Like, if he says he got a better score, I believe him. Alright. I'm thinking I do want to go try to find the shop here. Really glad I thought it... That was a potentially potion-consuming move right there. That was kind of silly. Red bats are really bad because they all move on the beat. They move every single beat, and it's very difficult to uh, adjust your movements accordingly. Definitely not going to go for the uh, Shrine of Glass here. 
Obsidian shovel is tempting. But probably not worth buying outright. Just gonna get a bunch of money from this. Sean, could you cool with the caps, buddy? Shrine of Risk is best for Aria. This is the Glass Shrine, though, right? I mean, I guess it could... You know what? Yeah, you're actually right about that. I think... I should go for the Glass. Yeah, let's do this. Glass Shovel, Glass Armor. This is probably a pretty good pickup. Oh. I just realized, though, that takes away my karate gi. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I think that's overall a bad thing. Damn. There goes my potion, too. Shit. <laughs> that really screwed me over, man. Oh, is this gonna freeze now? Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. That's very not good. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's run over. That might be a glitch, actually. Well, obviously it's a glitch. Because the potion is consumed, and it thinks I should be dead. So, that's interesting. Oh well. If you th fall through a trapdoor with a potion on Arya, you just fall forever since it's meant to kill you. Right. Okay, so I just gotta reset. That's a shame. Oh well. That's fine. So yeah. Learned a lesson there, though. Which is, uh, don't take the glass shrine over the karate if you get the option. Yeah, semi-glitch, yeah. Like, it shouldn't work that way, so it is a glitch. Oh my god. Knock it off, you piece of garbage. Come here. There we go. What happened science since the beginning of the run? Any swaggy skeletons? Not much has happened. I failed the daily challenge like crazy. Specification, how you doing? I went into the uh, boss arena on the daily like a dumbass. The arrow on the floor is a trap. So if you uh, touch it. I don't really want to do that. If you touch it, you. Uh, go in the direction of the arrow, or if it's a tempo upgrade, or downgrade, like this for example, it'll uh, increase the tempo of the song and you have to match yourself accordingly. Pigmas and you are- oh, it's a raid, oh shit! Sesmas raid, welcome guys! Welcome twitch.tv slash sesification and twitch.tv slash pigmas 555. Thanks guys! The Raid Love! Thank you very much for that. Alright, so I would make money from this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I hit the wrong key combo. That was dumb. Hermsy, take it easy. Thank you very much for uh, coming by. Booyah. Pigification radius, indeed. Perfect. Beautiful 35 coin pile. And death is very profitable these days, yes indeed. Which shrine is that? Is that the shrine of war? Yeah. So we got double damage now as a reward, basically. Picked up a monocle and a gigantism scroll. But the cost for that is fi fighting against... Uh, 
tougher variants of enemies from this floor on. And Matthews, take it easy, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, raid in Twitch jargon essentially is uh, someone was streaming and they finished their stream and now they're sending the viewers over to uh, us, which is a very nice gesture. Favorite Pokemon? Oh, I don't have a favorite Pokemon, man. Last time I played Pokemon was Pokemon Blue. I'm an old school Pokemoner. Easy with the caps, please. Oh shit, that was dumb. <laughs> that was really silly. Get one coin from that monkey. Alright, let's see if I can make it to zone 2 in Aria mode, that'd be awesome. That's obviously not where we want to go. Bomb is good. Alright, we can deal with this. Boom. Gonna play some Pokemon, you think so? Play Vietnamese Pokemon Crystal on stream. I'm scared of Bolt too, man. Bard sounds crazy enough. Oh, come on, dude. Help me out. Help me out, Red Bat. Please. <laughs> he just... Chases me down. He, he knows. He knows how terrified I am. Whew. All right. Nice. Bring your charisma is pretty good. Good stuff. My radar can only take so much. Oh my god. Raising. There's some money. That's good. He smells your fear. Do I know about bat science? What do I have to learn about bat science? Wow. Alright, I gotta like... I gotta get these funny feelings out. The funny feelings out of my fingers. Well, what I'm doing. There's that single coin start again. Stop giving up these really good things, man. Bomb spell's good. I'll take it. Definitely want to try to get a torch here again. More souls for the demon. If you're okay with the spoiler... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down with that. If you feel like you could uh, explain the science of the red bat. The red bats are on the different colored tiles than you. Oh, okay. You two are on the same color tile, the red bat will hurt you. I see. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, that was my bad. That's no worries, Rage Finder. It's not like all whatever thousand people are going to be on at the same time. Tends to be expected. Yeah, I do kind of need to focus here. I think I should, uh, probably... God damn it, that was dumb. Lavin, that's awesome, dude. I'm glad. Moving can be a big old pain in the patoot. Glad we can provide some relief. That's bad science. Alright, I think I get it. I haven't been having that much trouble with red bats. They're obviously just always kind of a pain in the ass. There we go. Yeah, I got a hidden room here. Please give me something? Nothing? Alright. I guess. Have to make do. Rex hype! Uh, you know, the compass is tempting. It's only 15 gold, too. It's not really that useful, though, to be honest. Unless you're speedrunning. 
not entirely necessary. There we go. Oh god, the monkey. Alright, please, buddy. I've asked you a few times. You gotta cool it with those overloads of caps. Just take a few minutes and cool your jets, homeboy. There we go. Yeah, let's see if I can make this zone two here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into uh for reals mode. I did add rule 10, yes, don't ever not Rex hype. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to see what you guys are talking about as I walk right into the red bat's face. Still pretty tricky, man. Aiden, the audio file. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you again. God damn. I have heard of DeviantArt. Yeah, I've seen it, actually. Been on there quite a few times. Thank you, Aiden. Appreciate that, man. Alright. I will take the Shrine of War again. Just kidding. This has been pretty goddamn ridiculous thus far. Oh! Ho, 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 from Live Guy! 231 for the Necrothon. Oh man, I gotta I gotta redirect you, dude, but thank you very much for the tip. But if you guys want to contribute uh, directly to the Necrothon, necrodancer.com slash necrothon slash contribute. But feel free to drop that link in the chat as well. Or just use the uh, tilled necrothon command for bearbot. And you will find it. You will find a way to contribute directly to the necrothon, directly to the charities involved with the necrothon as well. You can do your stream, but I've watched a few YouTube videos. Neotoxicity, welcome, buddy! Glad you can make it. Alright. Really, really want to uh, make some progress here. Thought I spied, I did indeed, I spy a uh, black chest here. This must contain what would be in here, because I don't think you can switch your weapon, right? So what's in this? Oh, explorer's boots, okay. That's not bad. No bad upgrade. Maybe I can find the uh, Karate Gi again, that would be fantastic. Okay. Ah, it's just for tax purposes, Barcelona. Easier to uh, do it that way. There we go. Alright, Gold Bat should not be a problem. There we go. Beautiful. And now I think I'm actually going to make it down a floor. Magic. There's our potion. Pretty good start. I'm happy with it. Alright. Don't want to fall down the trap door. See what's in here. Nothing. Let's be careful. Oh, damn it. Look at him gloat over me. That monkey is just straight up teabagging my face. Glass weapons are the best for Arya because you don't have to worry about them breaking to your instant death. Right, exactly, smaller guys. I do definitely need to uh, need to pay attention, look out for those. Oh boy. Okay. Still have the same goal. Free bomb, sure. In fact, I want to use that here. 
That's some glass. I need some money for that, though. I gotta pay attention to the uh, potential to be surrounded. Really haven't been uh, looking at that that much. Uh, character's different because I'm playing in Aria mode, Lavin. So I'm playing in the mode in which you uh, can only take one hit of damage and you can't miss a beat or you die. I, I have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened there. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Damn it. <laughs> I saw myself walking into that too. Mad Skags, thanks man. Right on. Appreciate it, dude. You guys are being so kind to me today. There's some bombs. That's good. Okay. My god, bear! Oh, man. Try to make it past the first area again. Uh, nothing in there. I get these skeletons. Spooky, scary skeleton. Favorite console? I don't really have a favorite console at the moment. I don't really play console that much anymore. I, uh... The most that I did was a whole bunch of Halo, so... I'm partial to the Xbox. I used to be really, really big into Halo, actually. Why can't you be the best in every game? You're new and I know! Why can't I be the B-Rex of our generation? Pay attention. We're good. Not everyone can be B-Rex. I do not have a DeviantArt account, though. Alright, we're good. We got this shit. I might just go. There we go. We were the B-Rex we deserve, not the one we need. <laughs> Alright, free money to start, that's always good. We have a lot of bombs, so I should probably go in here. Definitely want to get this torch. Gonna focus a whole hell of a lot on uh, pressing the correct button combination there. Pretty sure not everybody can be B-Rex. I might be wrong. Can we all be B-Rex? That'd be awesome. Never played Man Banjo Kazooie, no. Whole bunch of games I have yet to try. Lots of older ones. Do you want to throw that on the uh, list of games Bear should play? God damn it. Uh, that was real stupid. Oh, why just let slight change in tempo make such a big difference for me? I actually played Fist of Awesome. I was kind of underwhelmed by it. Fist of Awesome just felt kind of sluggish to me. You'd think I'd love it, right? <laughs> like, it sounds like it's perfect. Alright, let's get this guy taken care of. Yep. Get him taken care of, he said. 
Got introduced to you and then I'll redirect it to your stream. I must say you're exactly what my YouTube feed needed. Thank you very much. Yes, dear. Is NL hosting me right now? Is that what's going down? All the nicest people in the world are showing up and complimenting me. I won't argue with it. Thank you, guys. You want to be Christopher Walken? You can be Christopher Walken. Fist of Awesome was an underwhelming game and recycles everything again and again and again. Yeah. I only played a little bit of it, too, and I was just like... First of all, just the combat in general... It was really slow. That was what was so bad about it. The enemies... You and the enemies both moved around really, really slowly. All the combat moves took ages to actually complete. And your enemies had such massive life bars, it was like... Damn it. It was really hard to get invested in it. I mean, like, I... I read something like Fist of Awesome, I'm thinking like fast-paced, high-energy... Beat him up, you know what I'm saying? So it's... I don't know, it's really... It's hard to... Get into it. When you're expecting something so much different than what's delivered. I did play The Walking Dead, yeah, I've actually, uh... Mentioned this quite a few times. My Walking Dead experience was kind of tainted, unfortunately, because there was a bug at the end of my playthrough... That, uh... Took away all the decisions I'd made and, uh, replaced them with random stuff. So it wasn't even, like, my experience. It was just some random arbitrary experience near the end of it. I got all the way through the, uh, fourth episode before that happened, too, so it was really unfortunate. do that properly. I do have... Oh, I don't have a pickaxe now. I think I had that last time. Yeah, it was really shitty. I was loving it. That's, uh... That's what sucks. Fist of Awesome is still one of the best-selling games ever on the... Ooh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know why I keep hitting buttons multiple times. You also mean that, too? Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I don't know why my voice cracks. I'm so... So happy! Thank you so much! Glass armor, nice. Yeah, they're so nice. Did Dracula Fetus happen to play your file? Did he have that issue as well? Our game suggestions play this game so... Well, uh, there's the game suggestions document that's down below. And that's not what that is. Uh, a lot of just, like, suggestions I get are mostly from people, like, just wondering what my opinion on it is, is, I guess. But the game suggestions document is more along the lines of, Bear, I can't believe you haven't played this game. What's wrong with you? Please play it immediately. And that list is uh, growing rapidly because there's apparently a lot of those games. Crichter, how's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. You keep dying because there's a serious lack of MLG wristbands. You know, you're absolutely right. I don't know where I put it, actually. You have to go find that sucker. I have played Mass Effect. Yeah, I really loved Mass Effect. Mass Effect was fan freaking tastic. Good stuff. I might just have to submit one of these really shitty Aria mode runs. Better than just not having a submission. Although I don't know if you have to complete Aria mode in order to have that score go through. Is that the case? Hoff, if you're still here, let me know if that's actually what the case is. Oh god, War Drum, that's real good. Nice. I kind of want to pick up the backpack as well. You're really, really underwhelmed by the start of Mass Effect 1, really. Interesting. I did play Indigo Prophecy, actually. As shocking as it may seem. Don't worry about it, Sean. 
Yeah, I played Indigo Prophecy back on the PS2. There we go. Yeah, Judgment, actually, we were just playing that, uh... Must have been before you got here on the stream. Gods will be watching. It's real good. Really freaking difficult. All right, here we go. Just had a red dragon spawn with a skeleton behind him, had the flail, and just sat there beating the dragon to death as he bounced back into the skeleton and didn't move. <laughs> nice. God damn it, why did I do that? I had the war drum and everything. I can't believe I just did that. That was so stupid. Zilingling, Ling, welcome, buddy. Welcome, welcome to the show. A subscription from Crichter. Crichter23. Big ol' bear hugs, my friend. Thank you so much for that. Thank you very much for the support. Appreciate that quite a bit. Alright. Gonna take a quick break here, guys. I'll be back with more Aria mode attempts. Um, actually, now that I think about it, uh, let's go ahead and, uh... I think I'm gonna switch 2001 Spikes, actually. Yeah. We're gonna do a bit of a change of pace here. Crichter, there you are, buddy. Thank you very much for that bear, for the, uh... For the, um... Subscription! That's the word I'm looking for. Um... I'm gonna play 1001 Spikes. That just sounds like a good idea right now. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Make some, uh... Make some magic happen. So, thanks for watching Crypto the Necrodancer tonight. Appreciate your time here. I'll be back with, uh... Different kind of speedrun attempts. See you soon!